What is today? What is I, I don't today? Today is Friday, know. October so, 20th. Is it? Okay. Awesome, Taylor, thank you so much. Uh, so, how much sleep did you get from last night? From last, oh, so last night I slept. Oh, that's or this progress. Morning, whichever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but before that, none really. <laughs> <laughs> we left, we left Atlanta, when did we leave? What is today? What is, I, I don't Today even, is Friday, uh, October so, 20th. Is it? Okay. So we left, okay, first show was, in Toronto. Toronto was Thursday. <laughs> so we left Atlanta Wednesday afternoon. Is that right? Yeah. And I don't, I didn't sleep. I, I maybe slept like two hours cumulatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before I got actual sleep this morning. So yeah, yeah. however you want to take that. Moving closer, just out of your sight. What do you think will happen? Uh, you obviously are joining, or you're, you're supporting together with Lotharo, a couple of Canadian shows from the ECR, just you guys been on the road together with uh, Lotharo for a while. While they were tearing Kid Rock's place down three weeks ago in Nashville, where, where would we have found you? Uh, they went down early. That was it. That, they did that at night, right? Yeah, they got wasted at night. I know they did. Um, where did we play before that? I think we got a hotel room. Because uh, it was a day off. Uh, was it Chicago to Nashville? That's what it was. We were, um, yeah, we had some some friends in uh, in Chicago, so we got a hotel room there and and hung out with them, uh, and then drove down the next day. There you instead go. Instead of driving all the way, <laughs> and wasted at Kid Rock's. You guys were smarter about certain things, maybe. Certain things, maybe. Certain things, there we go. Awesome. Now, um, I mean, obviously people that know the band know that you guys are not afraid to color outside the lines, uh, let, let's say. Uh, you guys mix a lot of different songs, uh, not songs, but different styles. There's obviously a lot of power metal and thrash metal in there. Um, but the, power, the power, metal, power metal elements that you guys bring to your music are definitely more, you know, Halloween than Armored Saint. So like, there's more that like Euro uh, power metal that has influenced you clearly. Um, two questions. Number one, you know, did you just grow up with European music more than, than, than American metal? And as a follow-up, we're seeing this become more and more popular in North America right now. Like European power metal bands were wanted all of a sudden. That wasn't the case 10 years ago. What happened? I really don't know what happened. <laughs> so many things have have changed, like from ten plus years ago to now. Like almost doing an about face for a lot of things. Like it's well, all kinds of nerdy, geeky things uh, that may not have been popular or were were not. Like definitely weren't popular when I was in high school. Uh, 500 years ago are, are now suddenly very popular and uh, the, like anime and like just video games and mm -hmm. like so many things um, so I guess that sort of cultural shift I guess could have a little to do with it mm -hmm. I don't really know if those are parallel if they're affecting each other or not it's just coincidental um, but I don't it just seems like there's People want different things now, and I yeah, guess yeah. power metal just happened to be one of those things. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I didn't. I didn't really. Uh, I guess the other part of your question, I don't know if I necessarily listened to more European bands growing up. I probably did, uh, but there are definitely a lot of non-European bands that I, that I listened to, mm -hmm. um, just more. Uh, off the beaten path bands uh, like Symphony X and Dream Theater. Obviously, they're like especially Dream Theater is a huge name in prog metal now. Uh, but at the time, it was still prog metal wasn't 
it, it was not what it is now. Right, right, for sure, for sure. Now that you mentioned Symphony X, um, do, do I remember correctly that day for you were um, not just musically, but singing-wise, a big inspiration for you? Oh yeah, yeah. Russell Allen is uh, maybe my favorite singer. I'm sure there are other people who can say that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, he's, he's been a big, big influence on me. Um, and uh, obviously others too, but he's he's kind of always been number one since I discovered them. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever, however old I was in high school. paused a little bit and gave you an opportunity since the last release to kind of work more on the band and the sound and, and um, uh, just on, on everything and finding your own identity more. Was part of that more vocal training because you were pretty much self-taught as a singer? Oh yeah, I've, I've never had any, still have not had any like formal lessons or training or anything. Uh, and it's something I've thought about a lot and just never have. Yeah. For no good reason. <laughs> I'm just, <laughs> just like lazy, I guess. I don't know. Like, um, that you, were you at times? Because, I mean, at the end of the day, in your band, if your vocal cords blow or if your wrist gets broken, those are two things that pause the band. Yeah. Like, like that. Like, like, is that something that keeps you up at night? When you do get to sleep? When I do get to sleep. <laughs> uh, Sort of. Like, I mean, well, this tour run, this run of shows is a good example, I guess, because normally, normally I have like a little vocal care kit with sprays and lozenges and gadgets and stuff that I bring with me, and I completely forgot it. The only thing I forgot for, uh, for this, and at first I was like, oh my god, this is not going to be good. And I was like, well, it's only four shows and it's like half hour sets, so it's, it'll, it'll be fine. Right. Uh, and then our bass player did not make it to <laughs> to Canada, and he does all the harsh vocals live now. Um, so all of a sudden, I'm having to like I don't stay in practice for my for my harshes, and now I have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so now I'm now I'm a little worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I don't know. Uh, I really wish I had my little goodie bag. Uh, <laughs> We'll see, but it has happened that my voice has just gone out for you know whatever reason. The last, one of the last tours we did in, in April, like yeah. right at the beginning, before tour, I had like a bad sinus infection, and then the first show was fine for the most part, and then after that, my voice, like I had a talking voice, a speaking voice, but my I couldn't really sing anything at all. So yeah, I did two or three shows instrumentally. Fans of the bands I've seen you before will kind of know what to expect maybe from this show and it's been, you've been promoting the same music for a while now. Mm -hmm. um, should we keep our fingers crossed for anything that you guys, I mean, obviously have worked on in the, in the meantime? Uh, yeah, keep those fingers crossed. That'll, that'll help me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, I definitely want to uh, put out song new music in some capacity next year um, for sure I mean, we don't have anything ready to go right now mm -hmm. for, for a multitude of reasons I mean you mentioned COVID before which like not only made everything grind to a halt it wasn't even a grind it was just immediate stop um, and killed a lot of our momentum as a band and uh, just like personally it was depressing and that, I mean, it really lasted like two years uh, before things started really getting back to normal. Uh, so uh, I, that, like that kind of, that definitely took the wind out of my sails. Yeah. And uh, delayed things, and then I had other personal stuff and technological things that provided setbacks, which are really great. But uh, it will be coming. Now, one of the things that 
we obviously also are gonna have to keep as a variable in when is new palette and stuff coming out is people that know who you are also know that you also play with other stuff right. and one of those other things just happens to be Theocracy that's back with a new album right now right. so that's exciting too I won't bug you too much uh, with that today but given that we are getting close to the end of the year I do have to ask you this question mm. one of my favorite Theocracy songs like many Theocracy fans is All I Want For Christmas <laughs> <laughs> Which is still one of the greatest Christmas heavy metal songs of all time. Um, when are we gonna get the sequel to that? <clears throat> I don't. I don't know what I can say. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't, and I don't know the answer to that specific question. But uh, what I am gonna say is there will be some Christmas stuff coming. At some point. There you yeah, go. That'll be a definite thing. Awesome. So. Awesome. I did the finest twist of Hoogoo Theater. The Grinch got a job as a Walmart greeter. The bit, I mean, in all, in all seriousness, um, that's a conversation that you need to have with both camps. Because when, when Theocracy tells you that you have to go on the road, Unless Paladin is opening for Theocracy, I assume that you have to put certain things in the parking lot. It, yes, yeah, it's, it's it's a big, you know, it's definitely a balancing act. Yeah, more, right. more like a juggling act. I don't even really know, but and not even like Theocracy is probably the easiest one to work okay. with in that regard, just because they don't really have the capacity to tour that much, um, just because of personal lives and careers and things like that. Uh, so it's not often, or at least it hasn't been yet, uh, an issue. Right. Uh, but I also play in another band, a uh, video game kind of band called yeah. Fit Brigade. That they, that's like their full-time thing for everybody else in the band, and they play a lot. Yeah. So that's what I really have to kind of schedule stuff around, um, and they book some things like way in advance, but there's a degree of flexibility to everything, to all three bands. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, next year will be the, the first full year that that I'll have to see what it's really like. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, uh, you know, my heart goes out to you uh, <laughs> in trying to figure that all I out, um, especially when you, you know, bring so much to the music in all these bands. Dude, I want to thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate it. I promise I would keep you short and sweet. You need to get ready for the show. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. You are awesome for watching this video. Click right here to see more content like it and subscribe to the channel.